guys, my name is Bernard Susanoff. Welcome to the Movie Geek channel. I'm here to do another installment of the Blue Review episode. We're going to talk about one of my favorite movies of all time. And probably my top five favorite movies just because it's so amazing. I will tell you what my overall thoughts on this and history. That means we're going to talk about the Screen Factory Edition, the Collector Edition, John Carpenter's The Thing. The Thing is released by 1982 and it's directed by Kurt, um, John Carpenter and starred Kurt Russell. There's a group of people who works in Antarctica and it's a very desolate winter and they came across with a dog and something happened to the dog, something curious about the, the Norwegian um, headquarters. So they look at that and they came back, something strange going on and it's the thing that assimilate, adapt to other people's cell and turn to person, a perfect human. And that's a whole movie, and it's just a great movie. And let's talk about. It. But first, before we do my overall thoughts on this movie, why I love this movie, um, I want to talk about my history of this movie, how I found out for the first time watching this movie. So it was, I believe, 2013 or 2012. It was I was 12, 13 years old or 12 years old. Um. I was watching a video, uh, a, 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 a movie review on this film by Sarah, 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 this guy, okay, I'm gonna put the name there, um, Sean McClain, um, his review was in depth about this movie review and I was curious about the movie, so I googled the thing and I came across this picture, being warned this picture is gross and dis disgusting and Horrifying, so if you don't want to see that, skip it. Um, hit the picture. Yeah, that picture freaked me out as a kid. I'm like, whoa, what is this? I'm intrigued. What is that? What is that? And so, I was born one time, I was looking on Netflix, you know, what should I watch? And then the thing popped up. I'm like, that's the movie I want to see. I've been intrigued by this movie for a long time since I saw the review of, of this movie, this particular movie, and I clicked it, it was, it was night, it was all, all the, the lights was out, so my parents were asleep, my brother was asleep, I was the only one awake, I, of course I was wearing my headphones, so nobody can hear what I'm watching in the movie, and what, for what I saw, for what I see in my mind, and my eyes, man oh man, that's a great movie, and it scared me, it scared me the crap out of me, and I gotta say, it was very effective, and I just fell in love with this movie because it's a very character study movie, very claustrophobic movie, very isolated, very, very, you know, scare. I mean, scary. It's just an effective way. That's why John Carpenter did an amazing job creating this movie, especially this practical effects on this movie. It's just a very well done movie and I was so happy for what I saw a masterpiece of the movie this is part of my favorite John Carpenter's movie my number one next to Halloween just because it's that good the performance throughout the, the movie is fantastic especially Kurt Russell and I don't know what's all the actor name but the only notable I know is Kurt Russell because it's from the 80's movies I don't have much experience with the other actors, but I know Kurt Russell is, you know, from the movie Sky High, that's a poster, yeah, um, that's my first intro introduction to Kurt Russell is Sky High, and I follow him more movies from him, Poseidon, um, you know, and many more, and, and John Carpenter, I did watch Halloween a long time ago, I never watched this, so I watched that one later, so that's fantastic, I love this movie so much, there is a prequel to this movie, that's in 11, I believe, um, the posters like this. Um, I heard mixed things. Um, I'm probably gonna see the movie when I find the blue very cheap. So I know it's not Elizabeth Mary Elizabeth Weinstein. So I'm I want to see the prequel what it does. I know it leads to the first movie, so I want you to know that. And just everything about this movie is amazing. The practical effects, the claustro claustrophobic. I mean the isolated the you know, no one, you know, it's kind of like Alien, you know, like, that no one can hear in space. I mean, no one can hear screaming in space. That's, 
That's what it is, because you're stuck in, in the horrible blizzard in the movie while the thing is happening. And it's just very well directed, very well written, very well performance. And I care about these characters. And there's this scene, one of my favorite scenes, where Kurt Russell character McGrady, um, just give me the blood. I want to test it, you know, I want to see who are you. Are you the thing? She burned it, and it's like a very suspense, intense scene. I'm like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Who is, who is gonna be the thing? I mean, it's this very intense scene, and the one of the thing about amazing about this movie is the hold up to this day. We live in 2016, where we have special, special effects, um, you know, visual effects. 1982, the, the special, the special effects were not ready. We're not, you know. Adapted yet? That's the practical effects, and the practical effects on this movie was crazy, crazy imaginative, amazing creative practical effects, makeup, you know, so grotesque and very beautiful, very creepy, and I love what they did. All the hard work they put on on this film. I remember, I I will never forget the first time I saw when the dog turned to the thing. That scares me as while watching in dark and I just fell in love with that scene, it made me smile, I'm like, oh my god, this is spectacular, man, the special effects, I mean, it could go, go wrong with the special effects for that scene, but they, they put it up and they did it, they did it, I mean, wow, it's just amazing at how they did it, and I love the fact, I love movies take place very claustrophobic, Areas like either snow, woods, out, whatever, water. It's my claustrophobic. I hate water, especially with the sharks. Um, it's just a very excellent movie. Very well written. Very well directed. Overall, it's an amazing movie. I call this a masterpiece. Um, if you want to see this movie, beware. There's some creepy, grotesque moments in this movie, but it's done so well and it's just. They put it off from 1982, and I did watch all the special features in one day, one go, because I'm a sucker for this movie. I've been holding off the Blu-ray because I've been wanting to get the, the original Blu-ray, which looked like this. From I heard, the Blu-ray it sucks. The transfer is not that good. The special, the special features, um, what they did to the Blu-ray is not that good. So yeah, I hold it off. So I'm glad that I bought that Blu-ray. The original Blu-ray, but when Screen Factory announced this, I'm like happy. I'm in heaven. Thank you, Screen Factory, for releasing one the amazing movie. It deserved a collector edition to disc with extra artwork, everything what they've done, the transfer, the, the new 2K transfer. It's, I heard so much better than the original Blu-ray transfer. So do not get the original. Get the collector edition, Screen Factory edition. Whatever is out of care expensive is worth it. It is worth your money, worth your prime emission with new special features, the new 2K transfer, art, the new artwork, two disc, fantastic. All around fantastic Blu ray, and it's just an amazing, amazing movie. And it's just, I'm so glad you know about the original release. And it's cheap, you can get it cheap on Best Buy, Target, whatever. Didn't get that, but I did not get it because I don't want to. I rather wait a collector. A this is will be the most definite, infinitive collection collector edition. This is the most infinitive edition you can get. Just pick up the brand new episodes and they carry and they pour the the episode from Blue Way and the original DVD. So it's all in here, so you don't have to worry about buying different editions of the movie. It's just Get the Blu-ray, beautiful transfer, fantastic overall. Now let's talk about the extras in here. There's two documentaries in here which I watch. There is a documentary um, named um, John Carpenter the Thing, Terror Takes Shape. A documentary picture interview with John Carpenter and Carrozzo plus member of the cast and crew. I love that. That's how you do a documentary, talk about the making of the film, how what their experience on this making the film, what the special effect can be like. The, um, the actor talk about the experience shooting this m movie and it's just a very well done documentary and I wanted to hear what the experience of the making the film 
and I was so passionate throughout the whole an hour 30 minutes documentary I believe that is amazing documentary the, the making of the thing naturally made to another documentary in this film great documentary again talk about making of the movie talk about the experience what the making the movie talk about the special effects how they did it how they took a lot to make the special effects amazing there's outtakes have not seen that one yet there's the Necro TV podcast version of the thing, which I'm curious about that. I don't know what that is, what that means, but I mean, curious about seeing this one, the podcast version of the thing. The three binge features, and I did see that one. Very awesome, good stuff. The binge production reel containing condensed version of the film with a alternate footage, which I have not seen that one yet. The behind the scenes footage, awesome. I uh, I saw that one. There's annotated production archive, production art, storyboard, location, scouting, and more. Talk about, you know, storyboarding, how they did this movie. It's just interesting about how they make the film, including um, the storyboarding, the movie. It's just how the artwork compared to different to the film. It's very, the monster design, the creature design is very different from the movie. Um, if you see it, uh, the, special, the, the special features, it's just so interesting. And... The special effects, I mean the special features, my bad. I get a five, a five out of five. Amazing special, special features. There's a ton in here. And of course, you, in this one, you can see there's two audio commentaries and two have to go and teach each other. While I'm, while I'm researching this movie, you know, intrigued about the movie, um, I did see the original teaser trailer. And I remember the, the music of that teaser just creeped me out. And I was intrigued what you know the plot of this movie because I know nothing about this movie and I saw the, the review on this movie on Sarah's Sarah's knee Sarek of the name will be there you can subscribe if you want down below but then I saw this movie and I know why this movie is amazing and yeah and now time for a closer look on this blu-ray here is the closer look of the John Carpenter The Thing released by the ever awesome Scream Factory release. Um, if you're curious, this is the original Blu-ray edition, which I don't re recommend. Um, just because what I've heard for the transfer is not that good compared to this. So, and and I would rather not get the original Blu-ray because the extra is all pour, pouring over, and there's some new extras and a new transfer. So. I recommend get the the thing, the Scream Factory edition. So just for a little extra special. This is of course the collector edition on the top set there. Look at that artwork. Such a beautiful artwork. I when in the, when the, the artwork announced, um, I was yeah, I like the artwork a lot. Um, here the spine for the thing. Scream Factory logo. Sorry. There you go. And here's the back detail about the special features. Here's Kurt Russell, synopsis the film and the critics. And it's very hard and Regent A and Screen Factory also um, pair up with Universal to release an awesome edition. A lot of extras. There's a ton. There's two documentaries in here, which is an amazing. So now, how we look in inside. Here we look like inside. So. As usual, Screen Factory does extra artwork commission. So we got the original poster, which I love. I want to get the thing poster for my room because it's one of my favorite horror films and one of my favorite movies in my top five. Easily. Here is the difference. The spine is different, which I like. I like the spine more than this spine, in my opinion. And the color is different from the back, also. So now we time for a look what inside. It's a two discs, so of course you're gonna have Green Factory artwork, which is very nice. We have feature film and all the special features in here, two documentaries, you know, features and all that. All the goodies is on this disc, and the feature film and the other commentaries is on this disc. And of course the back one the, in the back of you put the disc out. But the, here it is. You know, a same artwork from the subcover. That is the close look of the thing. 
Okay guys, that's everything I can talk about. One of my favorite movies of all time. One of my favorite horror movies of all time. It's about that. It's about time to watch this. We watch this movie on October. What an appropriate time to release on this on Blu-ray. And if you like this video, give it a like rating. Share if you want. Comment below what you think of this movie. Comment below what you think of my video. And of course, subscribe to this channel and for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Blu-ray review.